In this lab, you will use distillation to separate your unknown from an impurity. You will be using the non-condenser distillation kit in your drawer for this lab. You will also need a glass thermometer and aluminum foil. Set up the distillation kit, making sure the rubber fittings are snug. Follow the diagram provided in your lab binder. Position a collection flask below the head of the distillation setup. The flask does not have to be attached, but make sure it will catch any drops that fall from the head. Angle the distillation apparatus slightly downward to help the precipitate fall into the collection flask. Carefully insert the glass thermometer through the top opening, using a rubber fitting to make sure it is snug. The thermometer's tip should be about where the branch in the setup occurs. Now place your sample in the round flask and insert it into the rubber fitting to complete the setup. Wrap the glassware loosely with aluminum foil. Make sure that there is no foil underneath the flask. The goal is to trap as much heat as possible. Plug in your hot plate into the bottom outlet. The top one uses a different setting. Then turn on the heat by adjusting the left knob. Set the desired temperature by looking at the smaller number in the upper portion of the LED screen. The larger number is the current temperature. Since the lowest boiling point of your unknowns is around 70 degrees Celsius, this would be a good point to start at. The glass thermometer will tell you when something is ready to collect in the flask. Wait for the glass thermometer to rise in temperature and keep an eye out for condensation along the mouth of the setup. If you begin to see liquid forming, take note of the temperature. Remember you are trying to separate your unknowns based on boiling point, so don't set the temperature too high too soon. Remember to weigh a vial before you put your pure product in it, and then reweigh it to get your percent recovered. For this lab, you will need to run an IR, carbon and proton NMR, and a GC.